Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Casey and this week's video is the continuation of last week's interrupted video. Um, we're doing the DIY abstract wall art painting this week. It is Thanksgiving themed, but you can really theme it however you want by using whatever colors you want. Alright, so let's get into it. It's going to be really fun. I really like how it turned out. Whenever I start a new wall art project, my first step is to check out Pinterest for some inspiration. So let's head on over there now and see what we can find. I like to try a bunch of different search terms and keywords and things like that and save them to a board. Um, after a little while of searching, I'll go back to that board and see if I can spot any patterns in what I've chosen. Like here, I can see that there are a lot of lines and a lot of brush strokes that are there. So I'm gonna do a search for just those things and see if I can find anything else that I like. Now, the next part is to pick out a couple that I really like and to figure out why I like them. Um, like this one. I really like the colors of this one and I really like that the paint swatches I guess you could say are different lengths and different widths But I really like this one because you can tell that they're just paint strokes There's a lot of inconsistencies in them and there's not a lot of like going over it over and over and over again The things I'm using for this project are pretty simple. I have an 11 by 14 canvas some acrylic paints and some wide paintbrushes. The first thing to do here is to get the canvas ready. You can get something like gesso to prime your canvas, but I just use white acrylic paint. And yes, I am using a hairdryer to dry the canvas between coats because I'm impatient. The next step is to paint. You can paint whatever the heck you want. I started with the two darker colors and then added in the lighter colors as I wanted. I did have to go through and do several coats of each color. Um, I even mixed a few colors myself because Michaels is out of a lot of their colors right now. This red is a little too bright for what I wanted. I tried adding black at first but I didn't really like the color that it gave me. I tried this brown next and I ended up liking it a lot. And I did the same for the orange and got more of a burnt orange color. After finalizing the abstract design I wanted, I turned to Canva so I could figure out what text I wanted to add. I started by creating a blank poster and adding a couple text boxes. I then changed the fonts a few times to get a feel for what I wanted. And I realized I would like a script font for the word thank and a serif font for the word full. A serif font is just a font that has those little tabs on the ends of the letters and a sans serif won't have those little, those little tabs on the ends. I finally decided on this font combination so I got to work painting it on the canvas itself. I measured out how big I wanted it to be and lightly sketched it onto the paint. Then I painted over it in black. I realized way too late that the black would not show up on the brown that I used. If I could go back and start this over, I would definitely keep the dark brown at the bottom of the canvas. But I just added in some white accents around the letters to make them stand out a little bit more. And I also decided after the fact that I didn't really like this white square at the bottom, so I mixed up so some more of that red and brown paint and I painted another piece.
And there you have it. We've made some delicious brownies, some macrame napkin rings, and a really cool piece of art to really bring those colors into your home. Well, that's the only way I can bring those colors into my home because I live in Florida and we don't get those colors outside. To give you an idea of what Florida is like in the fall, I wore a t-shirt and shorts to breakfast this morning. Anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more, subscribe and hit the notification bell because I have a few more just like this on the way. Thanks for watching and I will see everyone next week. Bye.